Welcome back to Marcella Family Farm. Uh, we're going to do a quick video here on a Nurture Right 360 incubator from Harris Farms with a uh, built in automatic egg turner and a uh, built in egg candler. So, when I say built in egg candler, it's not as cool as you'd think. It's not actually built in to the incubator. You do still have to remove the top, uh, and then what you would do is you'd hit the button here. As you can see, you got a nice bright LED light here, and you're gonna take the fat end of an egg, and you'll put it on here to see if there's uh, any life. Now you wanna be careful that your hands are clean when you do this with your eggs, uh, and you also wanna make sure that you kinda of do it quickly, you know, between five and eight minutes from when the top's removed, because extreme fluctuations in temperature and humidity can affect your hatch rate. Um, so it's a nice little feature, maybe someday they'll make one that's actually internal where you don't even have to take the top off or remove the eggs, uh, but it's nice to have it there so you're not looking for your LED flashlight. <clears throat> so we, we actually picked this one up because we thought it was pretty unique compared to the other incubators we used. The ones in the past uh, did, ha did not have still air, they did have air fluctuation in them with fans, uh, but they're big basically styrofoam containers. This was a little different, uh, it does have an automatic egg turner. And most egg turners that we dealt with in the past actually just took the eggs and they moved them uh, backwards and forwards throughout the course of the day. On this one here, it has an automatic turner, which you can tell is on when the red egg light is on here. Okay? And then if you want to test it, you're going to press the, the two uh, plus and minus buttons right here and hold it down, and you're going to see the eggs rotate. So this simulates uh, what the mother hen would do in the nest. So that's a function that is done automatically if you set it to an actual 21 day cycle. Uh, when it hits day 18, it'll stop uh, turning the eggs. So what you can also do is we always set ours for a couple days longer. So what happens for us is when we know it's day 18, we're going to manually unplug the one cord here that's for the egg turner. So that'll stop. You'll then take the top off and you're going to remove the turner so that the eggs can lay flat and hatch. Another nice feature on this uh, Nurture Right 360 is it actually has a nice external external port here for uh, adding your water for the humidity. You want to keep your humidity between 50 and 55 percent for the first 18 days of incubation. Uh, port A does not have a red plug in it and port B does. What we did was we actually bought a nice little uh, water bottle here from Walmart, I think it was 99 cents, and it makes it really easy to fill. So what you do is you just fill your port here, and uh, it's been pretty good. It's staying regulated at about 51 to 52 degrees for us uh, after we filled the port one time. When it gets down to lockdown, which would be day 18, that's where port B comes into play. So you're gonna remove the port B at that point, and you're gonna fill this port. We're not gonna do that right now because it's gonna shoot the humidity through the roof. <clears throat> that will help you raise your hum humidity between 65 and 80 percent. There's mixed reviews on what it should be, but you definitely want it to be high because it actually helps soften the egg and helps the chicks come out. There's also a vent here. Uh, we leave it about halfway open for the first 18 days. You do want to make sure it's open. You don't want this to be a closed air circuit. And then when you go uh, to the lockdown period, you're going to open the vent all the way. With the addition of more water, that, that'll keep your humidity high, which is what you need. Uh, and you can see, you know, it's adjusting 50, 49. Uh, right in that range, that, that all works out pretty good. Uh, this is adjustable. Your temperature is adjustable, and so, so is um, <clears throat> your days. To adjust that, you're going to hold this button for three seconds. And it's showing here uh, day 22. Okay, that didn't work, so we're going to do it again. It'll give us another beep. So it gives us that other beep, and you can see here the temperature's blinking uh, on and off. So 99 and a half is where we want it. So we're just going to hit OK. And now it's going to day. So we set ours to day uh, 23. Uh, you only have to set it for 21 for chicken and 28 for duck. Uh, we do 23 because we found sometimes on the, the larger breeds it takes a day longer and sometimes actually on the smaller breeds it's a day sooner that they hatch. 
Uh, but to eliminate that from happening, we you know add the extra couple of days on there and we remove the egg turning function on our own. So that those are the features that are offered in this. Uh, we've seen that uh, it's actually holding the temperature pretty well. It's holding the humidity pretty well. And uh, we're going to do an update video in a couple weeks here. We'll probably do a candling video in about 10 days. And then we'll do an update video to show you uh, hopefully some live action of some chicks hatching in here. And uh, show you what our hatch rate is. Now we don't expect our hatch rate to be perfect. We tried to get these eggs in as soon as we could, but it has been very cold out. Uh, luckily some of the, the younger chickens were already broody, so they kept, they kept some of these uh, eggs nice and warm. Uh, but we do think there's going to be some fallout from some of these eggs getting too cold and possibly getting close to freezing. Uh, but it does hold 22 eggs, which is a little less than the other incubators we use. But if it gives you better results, uh, we're, we're all for it. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was inf informational. And uh, hopefully our future videos can help you make a decision on whether or not this incubator works for you. Uh, we're really looking for more subscribers. That way we can put more out. Uh, the more subscribers we have, the, the more videos we can do and the more informational uh, <clears throat> type things we can put out there. Uh, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.